Okay. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Please come down here. Punch you in the balls. Okay, in the butt then. So much death claw butt. Okay. But I think there's more. Please have eggs. Yes. I think there's more of them. Of course, knowing my luck, it's gonna be it's gonna be worse than that, isn't it? It's gonna be freaking Cazadors. Which are even worse than death blocks. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh no, don't touch the water, it's bad. I'm not sure if they are or not. Either way, um the Gimps What is it called? This place? It's the Gypsum train yard. Could be gypsum. I doubt it is. Doesn't have much for us. Oh, no. Maybe it does. I don't like this. What is that? I saw something. You can't fool me. Oh, these guys are tough. I think I saw a death blow back there is what I'm saying. I swear I saw a death blow back there. Oh no, it's worse. It's no, it's not worse. Okay. There we go. Um What is going on? There's just some ants. They're not even related to the back to the death claws. I mean, I say that. They might be cousins. You never know. They maybe they're related, but either way, we're good. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's get our companions. These imbeciles. I don't even remember where I left them. Come on. Let's go home. Aw. Don't awe me. You're awful. Dying left and right. To the death claws. Okay, what are we doing? So let's go back. So let's go back to the... Um, to the silver rush. Oh, we got two people. What is going on? Hey. Welcome to the Silver Rush. New Vegas' best. Ah, I'm just kidding. Go on in. Because <laughs> he knows me, maybe. Although, yeah, we I didn't lose the weapons. Hey, good news, I think. Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or are you just here for the guns? Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. I delivered the package as I requested. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? Um... That he said you'd hear from them soon. Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. But I need to trade. Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or are you just here for the guns? Yeah, it's the trade. Of course. Of course in... Oh, no, she doesn't have too much money. I do have a lot of crap, though, so... Uh, that's nice. Including the Tesla cannon. That we don't really care for. I mean, she might care. I mean, it's, all, it's all about... She's all about the um, energy weapons, right? Anyway. So... John Baptiste? Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you the chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? What would I have to do? No, no, no. That's not how it works. You don't get to weigh the options. You're either in or you're out. Now, I've said this in other Let's Plays, and I'll say it in this one. It is really dumb on all accounts to make the player choose this. And Well, I say all accounts. There's only a real two, two real accounts where this is dumb, and there's only two ways that it could be dumb, and it's dumb on both of those ways. So let's let's do it. Let's, let's analyze it like this. This guy... 
not for the first time either. This has happened. I'm not sure if it happened with their in their quest line, but if it did happen with their quest line, then it might be a thing that's exclusive of their quest line. Although I believe it happened elsewhere as well. Either way, the point is there's two possibilities for this to be done. And what am I referring to? And what it, what are those possibilities? I'm referring to him asking me to say I'm in before he tells me what he wants me to do. Now, there's no reason for that. And the reason why there is no reason is because in real life, it wouldn't matter. What I mean is this. Imagine your uh, boss tells you, or it's not your boss. Imagine, well, he's not, he's not our boss, but imagine our client or something. Somebody tells you, I, I, wait, I have a secret. You know what I mean? I have a secret and um, it's a secret quest and I want you to, uh, to help me. And you ask them. It's basically the same. It's the same exact situation. You ask them, uh, okay, what is it? And they, no, 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 I want you to promise me that you're going to do it without you knowing what it is. What, uh, m the question I, that I pose to you is, what exactly is preventing you from telling that person, yes, I'll do it. Just tell me what it is. What exactly is it? Why would I not say I'm in, is what I'm saying, in real life. I'm talking in real life here. So it's real dumb in real life. If this guy were a real person in real life, he would be really dumb. He's also really dumb, but that's beside the point. He would be really dumb because I just say I'm in, he tells me what it is, and then if I am out, I am out. I don't need to tell him I'm out. I just don't do what I what he asks, right? But that's in real life. What about in the, in the video game? In the video game, you... there. I mean, you might have already played the quest, so you know in advance what it is. So it's dumb because you know in advance... Also, if you don't know what it is, the game auto-saves. You quick save. There are saves. You don't like it, you reload. There's no reason to force you to say this. Who thought this was a good idea is what I'm asking you right now. Who thought that this nonsense is important? I bet it's the same person that came up with the plastic skeletons. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big time player. We're talking more caps than you probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Can you tell me anything more? Her name's Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here. So I can talk to her. One on one. I'm really glad that we have this mission. I'm really glad I did the mission for them because it is... Uh, it, this this way it's a little bit more poetic. Because um, she asked us to come over here and kill them all. And you can, Anything you can say to her... You can say to me. You don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, you're no use to me or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on. I will go on, but I will will do that later. Um, and also, just as a thing, accepting the quest doesn't mean anything. Because if we kill them, as we have seen, uh, if we kill them, the quest automatically fails and disappears from our journal. So it's like, there's really absolutely no reason for him to be all crappy like that. Um, I'll do it. Find her. Bring her back here so we can talk. There's some good money in it for you. Oh, there is. Just not, you know, coming from you. So that's it. Welcome back. I hope you've been working on that task Jean-Baptiste had for you. My brother is not a patient man by any means. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just browsing. Please let me know if anything catches your eye. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess Cassidy's coming here. We could do that right now, in we fact. Want... Let's do Veronica's quest first. Because we have the pulse weapon over here. 
so the pulse weapon is in here. Is it Pearl that helps me? Hey, Pearl. Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Yeah, it's not Pearl that tells me. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Yeah. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to help and how. Loyal still needs help getting the plane back to Nellis. And there may be others who still require assistance. I know. I, no, I think it's only Loyal. See ya. Because we haven't done his quest yet. We're gonna do that. It's an airplane. It's kind of okay. What exactly are we looking at here? And how are we supposed to do this quest without following the quest marker? I'll tell you what. Is it in here? Colonel Blackwell's key. Inventory transfer order. Really? Let's hide. Oh, she's going. Okay, what do we have over here? Let's get both of those. And now the quest marker is not there anymore. Due to current events, Staff Sergeant Daniels is hereby authorized to transport item number T11836A, codenamed Cyber Cucumber, to the installation known as Vault 34 to be sealed in its armory for safekeeping until the manufacturer can retrieve the prototype for production. Signed, Colonel Roy Blackwell, uh, U.S. Uh, Air Force, I believe. Which makes sense, because these guys were U.S. Air Force. And we've been to Vault 34. We didn't like Vault 34. That was one of those places that we didn't like at all. Because it hurts. Vault 34 hurts. Eddie didn't like it even less than I did. But... I guess now we're a little bit more prepared. Maybe we're a little bit more prepared. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't put it past me to die a lot right now. But let's find out. We're back in the armory, where a lot of things were, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm gonna need to take some right away or rad X actually. I'm pretty sure. Let's go with that. Um, I left something down here. I, I, maybe that's what that is. I have the key now, though. It's a pulse gun. Huh. Figure it'd have more buttons and dials and stuff, you know? Oh well. It's still the electronic equivalent of a disease from Gamora. <laughs> well, let's get out of here then. Back to the hidden valley then. Uh, who's this person? Hey, 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 Brotherhood Scribe. Why? I heard the elders got tagged. There you are. A few of us want to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Eggert working on some kind of secret project. Yeah, I think I think so. Well, I I don't know what the oh this is the locker. Yeah, give me all of that. Um, thanks for that, I suppose. Cause they love me so much, they started giving me things, which is actually similar to a lot of what what happens with other factions. I can't believe Harden is elder now. At least with the lockdown lifted, I'll be able to resupply my store more often. So what are you here for? Oh, maybe that's why there was a scribe getting into the Brotherhood of Steel. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Bye. See you. Hey. Oh. It's Veronica who's going to do the talking. Shouldn't you be securing supplies for us? I brought you a present. We found a gun that disables power armor. One of these could defeat the whole Brotherhood. We have to stop limiting our focus to military technology. It won't save us. Then it's a good thing this weapon has fallen into the right hands. That's not the point. Technology won't win our wars. We need numbers, new recruits. The Codex is clear on this. It's... A bunch of close-minded bullshit. It says they can't be trusted. But... It says that we are to protect humanity from them at all costs. Give it a chance. For me. 
I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I can't. We'll die out. Then we will accept that fate with honor. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. I wonder if that dialogue was supposed to be with the older el with the other elder. Although it still does fit this elder a little bit. I'll I'll get back to you, Veronica, in a little bit. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? I don't think you can. I can't. Nothing. Later. Yeah. What's up? Um. Questions? It's a free wasteland. Yeah. Let's. So what exactly does her quest entail? Because it didn't get completed. Oh, we're just, yeah, she's going to talk to us in a little bit. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? Huh. <laughs> there was never a, any chance. His mind was made up from the start. I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? Would someone else listen to you? It wouldn't matter. The Elder has final say. The hell of it is he's one of our most progressive members. If I can't get him to agree, it's hopeless. And that line, I think, is because it I changed the Elder already, which is good that I did. Um, where does that leave you? I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do... whatever I can. Until it comes to a slow or sudden end. With the followers of the Apocalypse, that would be... The, the Wasteland is a wild place with very sudden and abrupt changes of power but if the follower of the apocalypse and the brotherhood of steel if the followers and the, the brotherhood of steel somehow stayed the way they are for a hundred years in a hundred years veronica would be like a badass legend of the paladin of the brotherhood of steel who joined the followers to help them out in all the things and all that I, no she's not a paladin though i mean she can say that she's a paladin she's a scout but still it's like she has power armor i mean come on Who are the followers of the Apocalypse? Okay, so take the Brotherhood, replace their knowledge of superweapons with half as much knowledge of medicine and farming, sprinkle in a little compassion for people outside their group and healthy disrespect for authority, and voila! Followers. I never really considered joining before, but now that I think about it, it really sounds like it could be a good fit, doesn't it? You're the only one who can make this decision? Not even a hint, huh? Jeez, I really am all alone on this one. I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any coming back. It might be something I'd instantly regret. Things are going to get harder for the Brotherhood before they get easier. I should support them in whatever way I can. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this. And some fresh air would do me some good, right about now. Let's do it. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. That was a cool ending, but it didn't end. The quest is still here. I think she's going to talk. That's weird that she wants a fre some fresh air. Yeah. Ooh, that might be the other access points. There are some inaccessible doors. That is a hint. Maybe the other bunkers do lead in here. Hmm. We heard Veronica talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. Um. Right. You won't stand for what? She plans to respect the Elder's decision. Respect nothing. She plans to whisper in his ear, poison him against the Codex. No. This has to end now. Execute them. You realize you're gonna die, right? Oh, come on. Oh, he's unarmed. Wow. 
this guy, go, guy goes down. As long as my companions don't die. Why am I not punching him? How can my punches miss? Oh, stop it. You know this doesn't become you. Get myself a stim pack up in here. There you go. Where's the other ones? See? <sighs> God. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's going to end badly. But they're all I have. Are they all they have? Will they take you back after you kill these people? I think so. Two things the Brotherhood has a lot of. Hard heads and lasers. Wouldn't be the first time a disagreement ended like this. Plus, we killed all the witnesses. That's true, but that doesn't usually work like that in video games. It's not too late to change your mind. No, I think it is. I have to be resolved about this. If I waver, it'll just make things harder. They need me, and I'm not going to abandon them. Are you still going to travel with me? Yeah. I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while to see things through with you. Come on, let's get out of here. Good idea. Veronica has received the Bonds of Steel perk, substantially increasing her armor. And I have leveled up. That was okay. That was okay. So, lockpick is what I'm looking for. That takes care of it. Science, I'm good where it is. Repair, do I need more? There's a lot of enemies around, but there's a lot of all of this. It's the, it's the old power armor, or the new. It's 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 the bad. It's the bad one. We got a heavy incinerator. Oh my god, look at the price of these things. A Brotherhood of Steel. Ha that's, yeah, absolutely. And a power helmet. And a 10 millimeter pistol. All of their equipment is good. Wow. I... Wow. I mean, admittedly, we did wipe out a full Brotherhood of Steel squad. Which, I mean, it's a, a terrible setback to the Brotherhood of Steel. I swear there was another one around here. I see a Gauss rifle. We have a Gauss rifle now. <gasps> T-51B power helmet as well wait oh that's the power armor okay <laughs> I was like the power helmet gives you strength um, yeah that's that's pretty good um, well Veronica um, Cassidy has a new <laughs> a new weapon good stuff welcome sir or I'm also gonna buy the two-step goodbye. I almost couldn't buy it. Thank you. Come back and see us again soon. I almost couldn't buy it. So we can't unequip the mods that this thing has. And I'm pretty sure this thing... That's a power fist as well. So it must receive mods. Hmm. Veronica. Ooh, got something good for me? Oh, yeah. Is it a dress? It's a power fist and a ghost rifle and a punch gun. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think she uses it, though. But she might. She might use my power fist. Because you never know. Eddie is our trusty companion and now we're ready oh boy oh boy so let's do volare over here which means actually did I say to throw before I think it means to fly or fly it mean it, it's the uh, imperative of fly 
Also, I, I have a broken chest, but that's fine. So, we're going to get a B-29 out of a lake. How is that going to happen? How is that going to work? So, uh, we got Vault 24. Let's go to Grub and Gulp Rest Shop. It's not Rest Shop. It's a Rest Stop. Say hi to the folks. There's nobody around. Um, and you go east. It's going to be a long journey. What do we have over here? It's like a little outpost. But it's friendly, so it could be... Well, really, it could be anybody. I'm friendly with everybody. But I'm going to say it could be Legion. But it's probably NCR. It is NCR. Wow, look at that. It's like a road. Oh, this is really cool. It's a road and it's protected by these towers. Oh, there's an encampment down here. Oh, I think I know where we are. I mean, our character doesn't know. Hello. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Yeah. I think I know oh. exactly where we are. This is Camp Golf. That's right. We're going to need to come back here, though, later. I mean, she's doing exercise. Don't worry. It's it's, it's totally normal. Uh, we're going to need to come back here because we have some missions that are more or less related to Camp Golf. Uh, and certainly when we start messing around with the NCR, we're, we're, um, uh, we're going we're gonna to come over here. But for, for right now, we're just passing through. There's like this big hotel. And golf, the Veronica, uh, golf doesn't mean obviously the sport or the activity. It mean it's the G. It's the G. It's just the the. I don't actually name know the name of the alphabet, but it's the way look at that name of people going around. That's a ranger. Uh, it's the alphabet. It's like alpha, but actually, camp, able. I think. I think able because it's the 1950s. Uh, alphabet, because they changed it to Alpha, uh, Bravo, Charlie, and back in the day it was Abel. I don't. I know these dog. Ooh, we're about to find something that we haven't seen already. Look at that. Also, this water is good for us to drink. Look at how. What the heck is going on, huh? Can you not... Can you not go back here? I would really appreciate it if you didn't do what you're doing right now, mister. This is all... I don't like it. Can I... Can I... Whoa, this thing... Did you see? Oh, hi. I can't punch. What in the world? There's no mines. These are lake lurks. Because they're like mire lurks. Except this isn't a mire. This is a lake. Oh my god. So this thing that I have has a leaves a mine in the water. Admittedly, it, it isn't the best place to try this new weapon out. And also, I'm a little bit stuck. I'm sorry. I was trying to get into the, into the land. I think my companions know exactly... Uh, how stuck I am. They're not even giving it a try. That is just brutal to go down there. Um, yeah, this thing... This thing... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have an airplane in there. We also have a... A little bit of a place over there. But now we have chunks in the water. 